Hello everyone, Highway 20 Rider here. Okay, so let me just start off by saying something. I know Gamer and PD already said this, but as you all know, the Ruby Volume 4 release date has been officially confirmed for October 22nd. The hype is too damn high right now. I am so excited. All of us here on the channel are absolutely pumped to see it. And I think I think it's safe to say that the hype train has officially left the station. So anyways, that's not what I'm going to talk about today. What I want to talk about today is the images that we got with that announcement and what they could possibly mean for the actual volume four. Anyways, like PD said in his news blog, I've been looking at some of these images and just kind of reviewing them and see if I can garner anything that might possibly hint at what volume four might have. And I think we may have some, I may have some reasonable guesses as to what it may be. Keep in mind, this is all merely speculation. The only thing we have is just images at this point. I don't even know if there's a trailer. I went to watch RTX, but I was kind of going down the highway all day, so, you know, I couldn't exactly do that. Um, I'm assuming if there was, PD would have informed me of that, so I'm going to assume that there isn't a trailer, but if there is, please, please comment in this. Please comment. I really, really want to see it. Anyways, on to the speculation. So the first image I want to look at is this image that came up with the actual release date itself of this new design for Ruby. We also see this design in a few more images from what looks like a trailer or some possible like video clippings. I'm not exactly sure what they are, again, highway. But anyways, as we can see here, you know, Ruby's got a new look and let us just say, I really love this look. It, it kind of reminds me of like a more like badass like Red Riding Hood kind of thing. It's it's still similar enough to what she used to have, but yeah, it gives off this more like mature and just awesome tone. We can also see from these images that Ruby seems to be noticeably older than when we last saw her at the end of Volume Three. Now, what this could mean is that well, it seems that Volume Four may be taking place after a time skip. You know, like, I mean, I know that's no news, you know, people have been speculating that since the ending of Volume 3, but it seems that it may actually be leaning towards that actuality, and we may actually be seeing an older version of the character after an undefined time skip. We also see this trend of old-looking appearances from John Dor and Ren from the picture from what looks like Ruby's scroll. Now, we can't exactly see Jean's face here because Ruby's hand is kind of covering up, but he looks kind of largely the same. I'm hoping the rest of his costume seems to be a bit more, you know, mature looking. But we do get a more in-depth look at what Nora and Ren might look like. Ren not having his hair, you know, tied back anymore in that little ponytail that I always thought was cool. And Nora having just longer hair, once again, adding to that concept that this is taking place after some time has passed to allow for those changes to take place. Also, there are these other pictures of the other members of Ruby that Petey mentioned in his news vlog that show that what looks like a more mature version of Weiss, Blake, and Yang, specifically marked post-time skip designs. But the thing is, I'm not exactly sure if these came from RTX or if these are fan creations from like DeviantArt or something, so don't take my word on that. Once again, if they actually did show up in RTX, please comment in the, sec in the comment section below. I really, really want to know because I really love all of these. But more importantly, I want to talk about how these might reflect the characters in the story that we might actually see, mainly regarding Ruby. So what we see here, she seems to look more mature, and what this costume, and I don't know, it kind of seems like, well one, it gives it that kind of like journeying warrior kind of thing, which is awesome, and also gives it credence to the whole, you know, time skip journey thing. But it also shows her more mature, and it seems like it's reflecting a, you know, older, more grown-up and mature Ruby who has been changed by the uh, traumatizing events of Volume 3, specifically watching the, her school get crumbled to the dust, all her, all her fellow students being absolutely destroyed, Yang losing an arm, Blake, getting, Blake running away, Weiss leaving, all that fun stuff. You know separating of the team that she was in charge of that she is responsible of yeah thanks ozpin and in addition to the, all this watching penny and pira die yo gamer um cut this part out cut away right before i finish the word die and put in that nora clip you know which one i'm talking about all right cool and resume I don't know, it just seems like she's been psychologically affected and, you know, has, has actually grown over the time that we've seen. 
and I'm really interested in to see how she will act in the future. I mean, I'm assuming she's going to keep, you know, being Ruby, but perhaps have a bit more, you know, maturity to her. Also, I'd like to see a similar thing from Jean, because you, well, you all know what happened with Arcos, cry every time. But, you know, I would like to see a kind of newer, updated design to, ma to match how he's, you know, psychologically changed. Because, you know, once again, he sees it as his fault, you know. It's, he once again it was forced to sit on the sidelines and he lost the love of his life because of it. And I just, I just really want to see a design that kind of reflects that. I hopefully, like I said before, the full body design will mirror that. But as for now, I'm not really seeing it from his face. But, you know, who knows? I may be surprised and I really hope I am. I'd also assume that Nora and Ren would have a similar psychological change because, you know, they were teammates and all that. Also, since Ruby was the main one they seem to focus on with all these images, it does seem that the story is going to focus more on Ruby and company as they journey to Mistral, or while they're at Mistral, I'm not really sure, because the pictures show both woods and a little like town type place that's just similar to the one in Crow's flashback in Volume 3, Chapter 4, when he was talking about, you know, the whole bar in Mistral. And it may not exactly focus on the other team, members of Team Ruby as much, but if, it, if these designs are anything to go by, it does look like we will at least learn a bit something, even if it's through rumors or secondhand remarks or what have you. It will probably kind of focus on them as more of a side story as they deal with what they are dealing it with, you know, Weiss with her kind of daddy issues being forced back home, Blake running away from her, you know, really misplaced guilt and trying to deal with Adam and her trying to come to terms with how, you know, how that she really needs to be there for her team, that she's not to blame for everything. And then Yang dealing with the, well, you know, her lo her losses and everything, just, you know, kind of coming, just kind of going downhill and losing her spirit and everything, which really saddens me. And I really, and I do hope that she, that this volume kind of shows her little struggle with trying to improve and, but I don't think that it, it's going to be the main focus. Of course, I do believe the main focus is going to be on Ruby, once again, main character, and, you know, the reigning members of Juniper as they go into Mistral. As for any villains or plans, we don't have any images or news of them yet, so I can't even begin to talk about them. That's a that's a whole other thing for another video. But it, rest assured, it does, I, as soon as I know, I will be talking about that pretty soon. Anyways, I think that's about all I have to say on the matter. Once again, you know, it is only the first day of RTX. The remaining two days may pre present new information. PD, I'm counting on you to give me that information because I'm going to be away from home and can't watch it. So, you know, keep me up to date so I can keep looking at all these things and getting super hyped for one of my favorite shows of all time. And as soon as I know anything else, I'll be sure to, you know, come try to look at it and see, and see what I think about it and offer any speculation I might have. If you have any um, suggestions or any news that you want me to be particularly aware of, please, please let me know in the comment section below. I would absolutely love to hear it. I want to hear every single thing I can so I can, you know, think about this. I really love speculating and analyzing as gamer can attest to. So, you know, any bit of information, any bit, even if it's just a rumor, is greatly appreciated. Anyways, thank you. That's all for now. I'll see you guys later.